Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's session. I remain your facilitator, and I will be talking about, and I will be discussing the role of inspection. Today, we'll be talking about the role uh, inspection plays in the growth of cooperative in Nigeria. Okay. At the end of today's session, we expect students to discuss how inspection will keep the secretary and manager on alert at all times. We also expect that students should be able to describe the inspection duty of the cooperative assistant. Now, the cooperative assistant regularly inspects societies allocated to them on the advantages that may accrue to such societies. The cooperative assistants regularly inspect the societies allocated to them. And one of the advantages that may accrue to, uh, to such societies uh, is the gift of inspection. In societies where majority of the members are illiterate or semi-illiterate, there is need for regular inspection by the cooperative assistant. The officer will be able to educate and advise the members at the right time on investment strategies. The result of this is that members will be able to take wise decisions, especially when holding their meetings. This will certainly enhance the growth of their cooperative society. The cooperative assistant will also study their income and expenditure pro uh, proposals and advise them accordingly. Now, inspection will keep the secretary and managers on their lat at all times. How is this going to happen? At the end of the inspection exercise, the cooperative assistant will write an inspection report, which may be available for the consumption of the members, uh, members management and the business partners of the uh, society. This will give information about the state of affairs of the society and will boost the business of the society. Where society's business needs redress, the report will enable the members to take timely action. So cooperative assistant as an intermediary in this case. The cooperative assistant serves as an inter intermediary between the director of cooperative, the area officer, and the members of the society. Information, advice, instructions get to members through him, which will be delivered during inspection visits. So the inspection serves also as cautionary. So whenever inspection happens, it serves a cautionary function. Inspection of corporate society will serve as caution to the management and members of the society from time to time. Members will be able to ask questions regularly. This is another way to keep the secretary and managers on the alert whenever inspection is on going. When corporate assistant visits and inspects the society regularly, members will be able to ask such assistants questions uh, when necessary before taking a decision. Now, let's talk about education duty of the cooperative assistant. In Nigeria, majority of cooperators are illiterate, hence they are not good businessmen. Before they can be good businessmen, they have to be educated. If cooperative society is taken to be a business venture and it has to be run like a business before the members can be successful, this uh, educational aspect should be uh, taken seriously. To be able to carry out their educational duties, the cooperative assistant needs to be educated themselves. He must possess at least the school certificate before he could, um, uh, he could be employed as a cooperative assistant into the relevant department of cooperative. After this, he would undergo training in one of the cooperative colleges for uh, an academic session. If he is successful in the final exams or the final examinations, he becomes a qualified cooperative assistant a holder of a, a certificate in cooperative studies. It is after this course that he qualifies to be an educator of cooperative uh, uh, societies. The cooperative assistant must teach the members of the society allocated to him. Uh, the cooperative assistant must teach members of the society allocated to him to be able to read and understand the bylaws of the society. They must also learn to use the bylaws to run their society. The members must be educated on how to run the society effectively by utilizing business principles. They must be taught what their rights and duties in the, in the society are. 
It must teach the members how to hold meetings, how to discuss effectively in the meetings, how to take decisions in the meetings, how the importance how, and, 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 what, and the importance of the meetings. They must also be taught how to choose their officers and committee members. They should understand that they must choose capable officers who are ready to work for the society selflessly and in line with the aims and objectives of the members. The members of the society should also be taught to be able to discuss and evaluate reports on their society's business. They should be able to formulate policies which will eventually lead them to making good decisions for the betterment of their organization. Now, officers of the society, what is their, um, how do they come in at this point? The officers of the society who are president, uh, the secretary, the treasurer, the vice president, members of the committee should be informed what their duties and responsibilities to the society are and how to carry out these duties most effectively. This is necessary since they run the society according to the mandate given to them by members of the society. It's important for them to be well educated since any mistake committed by these officers will be detrimental to the success of the society. Employees of the society, how do they come in in this educational uh, part, of the society, part of the society? The employees of the society are not members. Nevertheless, since they work for the society, they need to receive education on the organization and members of the society they are working, working with. The employees should know what the organization is, the characteristic it has that makes it different from other business organizations the principles of cooperation, the cooperative law, the bylaws of the society. They should also uh, know how the organization operates and how they can perform their duties effectively in such an environment. The employees should not be selected on their social relationship with any of the members, but on their qualification, experience, and their for, uh, foreseen ability to perform the duties that will be assigned to them diligently. Apart from making the right selection, they should be trained and retrained from time to time. It is also important that the employees should be well uh, remunerated so that they can decide uh, so that they can decide to work with the organization for a long time. Now, the members of the public as concerning education. The cooperative assistant needs to educate members of the public on what a corporate society is. The benefit people can derived by, uh, by its formation, how to form a cooperative society, and how to run and administer one. This action will give more enlightenment about cooperative to the members of the public. And as a result, they will embrace it, and there will be a tremendous increase in the number of societies that will be formed in the areas where or which the officer is supervising. If you have learned from these videos, Click the notification button. Please give it a thumbs up so that others can see it or will see it. Always remember to subscribe if you have not done so. Until next time, keep learning.